Scooby-Doo, the mix-up museum. The mystery machine squealed to a stop. Velma jumped out. We are late, she cried. The Museum of Natural History will close before we get to see the dinosaurs. Scoob and I are sorry, Velma, Shaggy said. But, like, we had to stop for pizza. Don't worry, Velma, Daphne said. There is time to see the new show. Fred looked at a map. The great dinosaur hall is this way. But the cafeteria is the other way, said Shaggy. Velma led the gang through the jungle room. Shaggy read a sign. Gorillas in the wild. Watch out, Scooby shouted. A gorilla was singing right, swinging right at them. Don't worry, said Velma. These gorillas are puppets. They are wired to move and make noise so we can see how they live in a real jungle. Shaggy sighed. Like, I wish those bananas were real. Next they came to the elephants. The animals raised their trunks. Rakes? asked Scooby. Fakes, said Velma. Even those peanuts, said Shaggy. Finally they reached the dinosaur hall. Large dinosaur skeletons peered down at them. A crowd of people oohed and ahed. Look at that, Velma said. A real brachiosaur skeleton. Amazing, said Fred. Jeepers, said Daphne. What? said Scooby. The brachiosaur looked too real. Its great jaws opened and closed. I'm starving, Shaggy said. Woo woo, said Scooby, licking his lips. Shaggy turned to a security guard. Like, where's the best place to shower down? he asked. The cafeteria is this way, the guard said. He waved his arm and hit a sign. Oops, said the guard. I have new glasses and I still can't see very well. But I can take you to the cafeteria. I have to go that way to start closing the museum. A few minutes later, Shaggy and Scooby had emptied the salad bar, the soda machines and everything in between. All at once, the cafeteria lights flickered on off, on off. Shouts echoed all around. Something was happening. Come on, Scoob, shouted Shaggy. We have to find the others. They raced back to the dinosaur hall. The brachiosaur skeleton swung its spiky head. It snapped its jaws. One leg moved, then another. It's alive, a boy shouted. Everyone ran in fright. Don't panic, Velma called. A shadow fell over the gang. The dinosaur roared right over their heads. Run, Fred said. They raced past the elephants. The elephants raised their trunks and stomped their feet. They sounded angry. Scooby and the gang sped past the gorillas. The gorillas were swinging from vine to vine. Jinkies, cried Velma. What is going on here? It looks like we have a mystery to solve, said Fred. But we can't hang around, said Shaggy. It is closing time. Let's roll, Scooby agreed. Hmm, said Daphne. Would you stay for a Scooby snack? Ow! Howling filled the hall. Rags, cried Scooby. A monster. He jumped into Shaggy's arms. How about two Scooby snacks, asked Velma. Okay. Great, said Velma. Now, let's split up and look for clues, said Fred. Daphne, Velma and I will find the security guard. He might know something. Scooby and Shaggy headed down a long, dark hall. With every footstep, they heard strange animal sounds. Then they heard a low, loud moan coming from behind a door. A sign on the door read, Keep out! Zoinks! It is a scary jungle beast, Shaggy yelped. Right, roll, Scooby barked. They raced back the other way. They crashed right into Velma, Fred and Daphne. Shaggy said, There's a monster behind that door. The sign says, Keep out. And like, That's what I want to do. I have an idea, Velma said. She flung open the door. Then she flipped on the light. Thank goodness, said a voice. 
Hey, it's the security guard, said Shaggy. What are you doing here? The guard waved around the room. The gang saw buttons and levers and switches. This is the museum control room, he explained. I thought so, said Velma. I bet you stepped inside to close down the museum, but you could not see very well. I turned off the lights by accident, said the guard. And when I tried to find the switch, I pressed all the wrong buttons. And everything went crazy, Velma finished. With some help from the gang, the guard quickly fixed everything. The museum grew quiet. Then came a long, loud rumbling sound. Everyone jumped. That's just Scooby's tummy, said Shaggy. Hey, can you flip one switch back on? The one for the cafeteria? scooby doo doo Scooby. If you'd like to read more with us, we've got plenty more books we'd love to share with you. And hit subscribe below. Thank you.